You're here now, most likely because you have just unlocked the third group mastery, but you're not quite sure how to fly with it like these guys. Maybe you wonder how does the griffin go so fast without losing height? Here I'll do my best to pass on the cult knowledge, uh, <laughs> I mean guild knowledge. To make flying easier, let's have a look onto the settings. In camera settings, keep the vertical positions all the way to the left. That is so your camera is positioned right behind your griffin. Like that, you can always see exactly how high your griffin is. Keep the field of view rather to the right. Having it to the left will seriously mess with your depth perception. Fatality. Very important setting is to check the first box in mount section. This will prevent your griffin from pulling up while pressing S. Yes, it is bad. Because it slows you down. The last setting is to bind your mount skills 1 and 2 conveniently close to your movement keys. If you are using normal camera, use the strafe keys. If you are flying with action camera, it doesn't matter if it's strafe or turn keys. If your mouse has extra buttons, feel free to use those. I totally didn't buy this just to fly Griffin. Do not use the number 1 skill for diving. You will crash. Fatality. Before we get to the fun part, let me quickly recap the masteries. The first one allows your griffin to save your ass midair. The second one unlocks basic dive and climb. And the third one works like a speed booster. Just a side note to this on my screen. It is not part of the game, but I will be using it to measure the griffin speed. It is called Speedometer and it's being developed by Killer415 for the Beatles. More in the description. Lesson 1. Diving. The Griffin works on a simple rule. Dive to get speedy, use your speed to get back up. Here is how you do the speed dive. You need to be in the air gliding forward. As I said earlier, hold the dive button, not the attack button. Wait a little bit until the griffin turns into a missile, then press space once. That will consume your stamina and your griffin should flap its wings and let the air around explode. You can now let go of everything. Congratulations! You just entered super speed. If you are not sure whether you succeeded or not, check if the speed lines around your griffin are yellow. If they are silver, try again. If you have the skin Nightfang, your lines are always yellow, so use any other skin to check. And for comparison, a few failed speed dives that often happen to beginners. When you see a downwards flap and no yellow lines, you pressed space too early. Focus on first holding the dive, then waiting a bit, and then wing flapping. Another mistake beginners sometimes do is spamming wing flap right after letting go of dive. Again, you have to give your griffin a little bit of time to play the animation. Oh, and if you are wondering, boosting more will not make you faster. Lesson 2. Pulling up. Now you know how to fly down. Fairly easy, right? Well, it gets a little bit more interesting with flying up. Your second mount skill is called climb. You can only use it when you already have speed stored. In exchange for your speed, you can regain your height back. That means that every time you use this button, you will lose speed. The less speed you have, the less you can pull up. Fatality. To get maximum out of your pull up, hold it until your griffin levels out. Right here. Not pulling up all the way will temporarily cost you some of your initial height. Don't be afraid to use it though, just make sure you pull up all the way. A thing you absolutely should not do is let go of climb and flap right after. Why? It will cancel your super speed. 
You could notice that even though I pulled up the same amount as before, I lost all my momentum. Lesson 3. Wing flap. Beginners often underrate the power of a wing flap. It is nothing to simply spam. You should use it when you are too close to the ground or when you need to gain a little bit of height when flying over a small obstacle. Unlike pulling up, it does not affect your speed. That's all for the theoretical part. Now it's time to see how you will really do in the field. I have chosen what I think is the best place to test your skills. Don't worry about failing for the first time, we all still do. Is high ping a problem for flying? No, it is not. Other people will probably see you clipping through terrain and teleporting, but you will be fine. Why is my dive so long? It continues even when I let go of it. If this happens, you're most likely using the attack button, not the dive button. Check your keybinds again. You always hold W. Do I need to hold it to fly forward? Nope, you don't have to. The griffin flies forward by default. However, we all do it anyways. Where can I practice flying on my griffin? The best option is a guild hall with a portal up. If you have the jackal portal mastery, I recommend the sand jackal run. In our discord, we also have a collection of routes made by many of our members. Check that out and feel free to post your own. What is the best griffin skin? Anything you like. The most popular, however, are the point tip Corvus and the Northern Featherwing. I also don't recommend anything with a blinding trail. How long can the Griffon stay in the air? Infinitely. As long as you pull up and dive again once in a while, you don't have to land, ever. So I have to be a pro to join your guild? <laughs> Not at all. We all were noobs when we joined. There are no requirements. That's it for my kindergarten griffin guide. Happy flying!